Hey guys, how are you doing? My name's Zen, and today I have a beast gameplay for you. But before I start talking about the gameplay, I just want to say a massive thank you to the Hovis man for letting me upload this as a Subscriber Sunday video. I think it's really good how he's like helping out uh, small YouTubers like me by doing a series like this. Anyway, let's get into the gameplay. So this is a knifing nuclear. 30 kill streak. Well, well, actually, he gets 28 kills with the knife and then picks up an MSMC just to make sure he gets it because this was actually his first nuclear. And if you're wondering who I talk about when I say he, that's actually my friend, as there's two of us that upload gameplays to my channel. Apart from he doesn't do commentaries, he just does gameplay because he's an absolute beast at card. Now, first off, I've sped up a few parts of this because obviously to get a 28 kill streak with your knife. You have to, t well, you can't just run and run and run because you you're just going to get outplayed eventually. I've also sped up the bits where he calls in his kill streaks just because nobody wants to see hellstorms and stuff that's not that exciting. Right, so now I'm going to give you a few tips on how to be successful at knifing only because everybody tries it every now and again because it's, it's pretty fun just running around and knifing them all and it makes everyone mad. So, yeah. The, so, first tip is the class. The class is the most key part have been successful on knife and only. So in this gameplay he's not actually using the class I recommend but somehow he still manages to pull it off because he's just a beast. So yeah, so the class. First off for your perk 1 you're going to want to have lightweight and hardline so that requires the perk 1 greed wildcard. Lightweight just so you can run around faster and then hardline so you get your UAVs and you count UAVs and VSAT's quicker, which are the kill streaks I recommend, because you pretty much need UAV, count UAV, and VSAT. UAV because it helps you towards your um, your VSAT, and it kind of gives you a, a, like a position of where they are, but it's not like 100% certain because they can move in the time it takes to flick it. But then count UAV. This is a key one because if you use count UAV, it means you don't have to run ghost because with hardline you should be getting your count UAVs quite often if you're like playing the objective and getting flag caps so then you don't need to use ghost which gives you uh, the extra perk slot for lightweight which we've already discussed so moving on to perk 2 perk 2 you want to use scavenger See, most people will be like oh why are you scavenger if you're not using a gun you don't need to pick up bullets but with scavenger it actually lets you pick up combat axes and concussion grenades which you're also going to need combat axes so you can get them long range kills and concussions so that if you see a group of them you can stun them and then run up and knife them and they have they have no chance, there's nothing you can do when you concuss because we all know concussions are ridiculous on this game they are like so OP it's not even funny and then perk 3 you want to use dexterity and extreme conditioning obviously extreme conditioning just lets you run for miles which is always helpful when you're not allowed to run up and sh when you're not allowed to shoot them so you need to be able to run up and then dexterity. Dexterity obviously lets you climb through windows and stuff quicker so you can just run around and get around the map quicker and you don't get caught off guard when you're like climbing through a window or whatever. Yeah and obviously the ballistic knife. You don't have to use a ballistic knife but is is good because obviously it gives you more like long range methods of killing people. Whereas you can just use the um, combat knife which then gives you an extra a uh, point to spend on your class so you could have like two concussion grenades which I suppose is helpful yeah anyway guys now that I've discussed the gameplay and a few tips on how to get na to get good at knifing only I just want to talk about my channel basically I upload Call of Duty, Minecraft uh, I could say FIFA I don't really I don't really play FIFA that much but I might be uploading FIFA so yeah, mainly Minecraft and, and well, mainly Call of Duty and some Minecraft. So I'm thinking about starting a Minecraft series where I do like a let's play of either Techie or normal Minecraft. I'm not quite sure yet. So it's going to be one of them. And for Call of Duty, I've just made a new account. So I'm thinking about doing Race of Prestiges on all the Call of Duties maybe. I think that might be a bit over the top. But I think I'm going to start with COD 5 just because that was my first Call of Duty. And yeah, I feel like I need to play it. Anyway, here's where he picks up the MSMC. Here he's actually on a 26 when he picks it up and he gets 4 kills with it and then afterwards he gets another 2 kills with a knife before he actually dies which is unlucky really but you know you, you have to die eventually you can't go on a 30 gun streak every single life I suppose. Yeah anyway as I was saying a Call of Duty 5 road to Commander which I'm thinking about or Race to Prestige whatever you want to call it. 
And then if that goes down well, maybe uh, some of the other Call of Duties. Uh, I also upload really high scoring gameplays, like really quick nuclears and random stuff like knifing nuclears and 100 pluses, so be sure to check it out on my channel. I've not actually uploaded much Call of Duty yet, because I've literally I've only uploaded a few Call of Duty videos, because I've just not been that active yet on YouTube, but I'm sure I'm going to start uploading more now. Also for Minecraft, I've started a new server, so if you want, if you'd like to join that, it's basically just for builders now. So if you're really good at building on Minecraft, be sure to send me a message, and I'll give you the server details, like the IP and stuff, because I'm currently looking for just builders, just to um, make it epic before I can like open it for everyone. And I think this is where he dies. He just calls in his kills for each. Yeah, and this is where he dies. Uh, well, thank you for watching, and a big thank you to Hovisman for uploading this. I'm out, guys. Peace.